Hey guys, future Kingpin Light here. As it turns out, I did not have my audio recording in the first 40 seconds of this video, but I kept the, uh, the visuals just so you could see the actual tin before it was opened and everything else. All that I really covered here was I got the 2021 uh, Battle of the Ancients, I believe, uh, tin, and basically what type of cards there are. So two, uh, three Prismatics, two Ultra Rares per pack, two Super Rares per pack, or Secret Rares, I apologize. Super Rares and Rares, that sort of thing. So the rest of the video is fine. Let's go ahead and jump right into One. it. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and unwrap this thing. Uh, I don't want to scratch up the nice looking box or tin, I should say. So I did read that apparently the 2020, 2021, which is this one, and then one releasing this year, or maybe it already released, uh, actually go together to create a total uh, sort of tablet, I guess. They, they line up on each other, um, on top of each other in order, and it creates some sort of tablet. Um, but let's see what we got in here. So up on the front, we got this nice little drawing of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and uh, Dark Magician. We got three of these Mega Packs. One, two, three, right there. Uh, underneath this, uh, we don't have anything else. I don't even know if I really want to keep that. I might just use this tin to like hold some of my... I, I don't know, actually, because I already have uh, some of those sleeves, uh, binders or whatever. All right, so we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and open up this first pack. All right. Oh man, I need some more practice reopening these packs, but let's go ahead and see what we got here. So, and let me just make sure it's capturing correctly. All right, so we got Indulge Dark Lord, Rain Bazu, Pendulum. I don't know too much about Pendulums up at this point. I know how they work, the mechanics of it, but I actually haven't played a game with a Pendulum deck yet. Um, and most of the games that I play haven't been in person. I've played uh, all the Yu-Gi-Oh! like video games, Duel Links, uh, uh, what is that, Legend of the Duelist, that, those sort of things. So I just haven't gotten an opportunity to play with these yet. Goki Iron Claw, Gusari at Ign Ignister, Ignister, is that an at sign? What is, what is that? Rika Queen Strena. Um, XYZs, I was around for those, so I, I do know how to play with them pretty well. Soldier Guy of the Fierce Knight. So, I love seeing these sort of cards that get used a lot. Guy of the Fierce Knight, uh, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, like these classic cards that just keep getting re-releases of new versions of them. It's kind of cool, it's like watching anime where they just, you know what I mean, they always have a new form, like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Shiny Black Sea Squatter. So right here we got... Uh, it's super rare. And it is a vanilla monster, so... I'd have to see what... Uh, is this one of those... Uh, I'd have to see what archetype this is supposed to fall under. I'm sure there's some support for it. Infer Infernoble Arms Durendal. And uh, that looks like a... Super rare? Oh, and here's a prismatic... Uh, prismatic rare right here the shadows schism that actually looks really nice uh, let me see if i can capture this on camera there we go yeah that looks actually pretty nice ultra rare right here uh dog dogmatica nexus that looks really cool with that foil a little hard to read the name there but i think that's most ultra rare cards another ultra rare fallen of albaz I actually really like this design of this card. And like I said, I'm not really in tune with all of the new archetypes and releases, um, even semi-new. So to me, all of these just look cool, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know too much about their meta viability, uh, but I'm sure I'll figure that out as I get back into it. All right, so we got a super rare here, or is it, uh, this is just a rare. Um, Virtual World City Kowloon. 
Drill Driver Vespinado, XYZ. Nine Lives Cat, XYZ. Kujikiri Curse, Jack in the Hand. Infernoble Knight Ogier, Ogier. And Linker Bell, one of the Link Monsters, which is another archetype or another type of card that I haven't actually gotten a lot of first-hand experience playing with. So let's go ahead and actually take out those uh, that Schism and the two Super Rares, or Ultra Rares right there. Not to worry about the Super Rares, I can grab those out later. So let's put those to the side for now. Let's open up this second pack. No, I broke it. All right, here we go. So we we'll start off with an Ibisella Ludia, Melfi Tag, Resonator Command, Code Talker Inverted. I actually have heard a lot about the Code Talker archetype, so to speak. Goki the Power Lord Ogre, Torpedo Takedown. Here we go with uh, Super Rare Trap Tricks Alomaris. Another cool one. I've noticed the uh, the cards have definitely, and they, this has been for a long time, but they've gotten really anime drawn where they used to be almost Dungeons Dragons fantasy drawn. Uh, here we got Gizmek Okami, the Dreaded Deluge Dragon, an ultra rare. Pretty cool. Oh, this looks really nice. Here's the prismatic rare right here, the Parallel Exceed. And, uh, yeah, that just looks really cool. I do have, uh, and I'll, maybe I'll show my collection. I do have some sort of cool looking foil rares. Um, I can't 100% remember, but I do have one of the uh, Madolce monsters on there. So we got AI, AI Contact. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, Dark Beckoning Beast. Spiral Fusion, Red Familiar, AI Idol Reborn, Poofiness the Tactical Trapper, Capricious Dark Lord, Flourishing Frolic, and Gaia the Magical Knight. Another Gaia monster. Like I said, I do like those. And we're down to the last pack here. So let's go ahead and get to it. And once again, show my inability to open these packs gracefully but that's okay all right so we got melfi mommy that is an odd art type but then again i played with dolce monster for the longest time and those are not very menacing either so i can't really speak uh proxy f magician is that part of the dark magician uh art type or just general magician cybers Red Time Reviver Emitter, Penguin Brave. Ooh, this is the first uh, uh, Synchro Monster we've gotten, actually. Arc Jet Lightcraft, Charge into a Dark World. Look at that. Ed Emancipator Anal Analyzer. And it is a tuner card, a level four tuner. Linguaribo. Oh, that's cool. Is that part of the Karibo? Uh, Hand trap sort of effects when you pour it in. You can tribute this card. Well, either way, pretty cool. Ooh. Yuria, Lord of Searing Flames and Prismatic Rare. Now, I understand that the God cards and the Divine Beast cards, I don't know if they, they did, I think, have a little bit of meta play. Uh, I th and I think Obelisk did when in the Treeborn uh, meta archetype. Um, but honestly, I love these cards, and I, it's cool having this. This is actually might be one of my personal favorites and how it looks, and just the fact that it's a divine beast. All right, so we got Alyssa the Earth Charmer Immobile, a Link Monster. Oh, that looks really dope, actually, with the, with the foil here. So we got Alpha the Master of Beasts. Now, I don't know how well the camera will capture the foil, you know what, I'll put it on both cam cameras just in case. Oh, hold on, there we go. Yeah, that just looks really cool. Uh, let me put that to the side as well. So we got Virtual World Gate Church, 
that is not church. That is Chuche. Joyous Melfi, so another one of the Melfi's uh, archetype. Another Kujiri Kiri Curse. This might be the only uh, repeat that I have on here. Lifeless Leaf Fish. Dogmatica Nation. Junk Sleep. And Infernoble Knight Ogier. So this is the other uh, repeat. So I only got two repeats out of all this. That's pretty good. Then again, I think, you, what is this, like 50, uh, how many cards are in the pack? It's 18 on these, okay. All right. And I think there's, what, like 200-something that are available to, to get out. So, I mean, I think we got some pretty cool cards. I did not organize these like I should have, but we got Parallel Exceed here. We got Shadow Schism here. And the Uria lord of searing flames which like i said that might be one of my personal favorites that i currently own um, i'm well aware of the card i didn't know it was one of the prismatic rares but i am glad i got it this thing looks dope and you know what as much as i keep wanting to or you know i'm learning more and more about the actual meta of the game the current meta but i'll be honest with you guys i will always have a special spot in my heart for just enjoying the game i uh, uh, casually you know what I mean and I don't mean casually as in you don't really participate in the meta it's more like it's fun being able to play around with with cards that aren't necessarily in the meta you know what I mean like there's thousands and thousands tens of thousands I think at this point of cards to play like why limit yourself to uh just one or two art types that are currently the meta at whatever at whatever point in time you know what I mean and that's what I like about it is being able to sort of play like that, just where you can play whatever cards that you get. Uh, you see cool effects in certain cards and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna play with that. And that, that's how I got into the Medolce deck. I don't think it was ever competitive, meta competitive. And if it was, it definitely was not when I picked it up. Um, but I honestly did not care. It was one of the funnest decks that I had playing, to be honest with you. And if I recall correctly, it's been years since I played with them. Uh, their effect was like sending everything back to the hand, right? Anything that went to the graveyard went back to your decker hand. Um, though, if I recall correctly, I never actually aimed to get, um, what do you call it? I never aimed to get like a deck out or anything like that. That would be too insane. But it did happen a couple times playing with my friends because they would, uh, one of them built, yeah, I think Dueling Network. He built himself a burn deck, right? And it just was not working. So he did, I think, end up getting decked out, which is hilarious. So yeah, guys, this is my polls on here. I think it's a pretty good uh, poll, but you guys let me know. I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you know a lot more about the current meta and what people are looking for. And uh, so, you know, I'll, I will figure it out as I continue to explore the new cards coming out and I'm doing the, the full series of every card that's come out. I may start skipping around because there's 120 just in the first TCG set. And there's not a lot of fun cards to talk about on that one, right? There's a lot of staples, a lot of uh, really well-known, recognized cards, but nothing particularly uh, fun to describe and talk about strategies. It's sort of, here's another normal monster, right? With 1,000 attack and 2,000 defense or something, something like that. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching and... Uh, I'll see you next time that I do one of these. Maybe I'll just grab a lot more than just these three packs and make it, make it a little bit longer than normal. So you guys take care. Catch you on the next one.